What is up guys, Andy Forestine Runner here, back with another video. And yep, I'm sat in my car. We're off over to the Seven Bridge to get a run in with an elite athlete. I'm super excited about this one. We're gonna be meeting up with Will, who is a phenomenal athlete. We're gonna be peppering him with questions this evening, hopefully having a good time and answering some questions that might help myself and you guys. All right, we have managed to pick him up. There he is in the flesh, Will is here. So we're about to head out for a run, but before we go out for a run, I'm just gonna enlighten you on the type of the caliber of athlete that this man is. <laughs> I'm gonna flex, your, I'm gonna flex your ego now. So what we're talking about here, and we're gonna be talking about this shortly when we get out on the bridge over the last couple of years, but we're talking about the biggest half marathon in the UK, the Great North Run. This man finished eighth place. Was it eighth? Might have been twelfth, but we're gonna roll with eighth place. Okay. <laughs> fifth Brit, we'll take fifth Brit. <laughs> fifth Brit, okay, in sixty-four fifty-eight, which is nuts. And then to top that off, only a couple of weeks ago you ran the Great South Run, which for those of you international viewers, it is a very highly oh, highly charged, it's got tons of elites down there, road race, ten miles, and you ran that in forty nine minutes and four seconds? Five seconds. Oh, yeah. let's go with four seconds, four yeah, seconds. Five. Uh, he came fifth place overall, which is insane. Other PRs include your 5K, which is? Uh, 14.25. And you said you've got a 10K of? Uh, 30.04. Bloody hell, which is absolutely mad. But he said that's the weak one and he'll be addressing that one next year. So the last couple of years for Will have been insane. And we're gonna find out a little bit more about that time. But first of all, we're just gonna get on with this run. We're gonna get out on the bridge share some easy miles uh very foggy out there tonight a little bit of drizzle so we're gonna get a bit wet but we'll see how we go and we'll touch base when we're out there place at Great North Run and the fifth at uh, Great South but I f like you can tell me what your crazy race was but last year you ran the Great South Run or was it the year before? Yeah it's 2019. 2019 and I remember you saying afterwards how absolutely like your mind was blown and I think you ran low 50s was it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just insane. So that was kind of the springboard into this year. And we can talk a little bit more when it's quieter uh, about some specific training stuff. But uh, I mean, leading into this year, you've got those two big races under your belt, springboarding into 2022. I won't divulge what Will's plans are. Yeah, he's, got, he's got some big plans. So I will, of course, leave a link to his blog and his Instagram in the description below so you can follow along um, and watch uh, how he gets on training with the likes of Jake Smith. So you've recently trained with Jake this week and that'll become more of a regular feature, probably coming over the winter. You said trained with Jake. <laughs> <laughs> he was up ahead on the same track. <laughs> he is, he is another level, but surrounding yourself with that calibre of athlete is only going to push you on, hopefully, into 2022. So it's going to be exciting to see what he does. So I realise the audio is going to be crap here. We'll cut it now. We we'll get back to the car. Talk more about some training. We go 
go, run done. So 9.27 miles, 7.05 average pace. That was good, wet, windy. Probably didn't hear a lot of that. As I said, we'll talk more in a second. Right, let's do a quick little few hill sprints. We go back to the car. Right, back from the run. So again, apologies if there was a lot of that you couldn't hear. Um, but we're back now, run is done, hill rep's done. That was all right, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> Felt good, up and over the bridge a few times, but the weather wasn't particularly great. So we're gonna ask Will about shoes. Shoe choice, because obviously this channel we have a lot of shoe talk, a lot of shoe reviews, a lot of shoe testing. So, <clears throat> easy day shoes. I've just seen what you've run in, but tell the guys and girls what your easy day choice is. Every day of the week. Every Nike, day of the week. Nike Invincibles. <laughs> Nike Invincibles. Yeah. Now, obviously I haven't tested those on the channel. You guys know with me, shoe sizes, going up to size 13, those sorts of things. They're quite heavy, but in a smaller size, they are all right. You're a size eight? Yeah, yeah just above the kids' sizes. <laughs> so that's awesome. So you like that. Okay, Into, uh, do, you do, do you use those on your steady days as well? Um, steady runs, I tend to wear the um, Sockley Endorphins. Nice, speeds, yeah? Yeah, yeah Endorphins yeah. speed, yeah. Happy days, good choice. Okay, and then what have we got? Track interval stuff. So not spikes, just, Ugh, tempo work on the track so again speeds speeds yeah if it's, what if it's the longer shoe? reps yeah if it's longer reps it has to be the speeds have you got a specific shoe for shorter reps shorter reps um probably the brooks up here in tempo oh nice yeah really you are speaking shoe. my language yeah. love that shoe you guys know how much i love that shoe that was my actually that was my marathon training shoe like for the last block i did not take that thing off it was amazing <laughs> okay racing shoe What's your preferred racing choice? What's the race, is it? Oh, okay, right. Let's talk road race. Let's talk anything from 5K and up. Because <clears throat> a 5K, I'd yeah. probably still stick on my uh, Nike 4%. Okay. Yeah, Oh, he's still, Ooh, still in the on. 4%. Okay. Yeah. But anything nice. above that, yeah. next percent twos. Nice. Yeah. Okay, right. So 5K and below, 4%. For, and is that because they're a bit firmer, they feel a bit smoother, you roll through your stride a bit better? Yeah, I just find I sink too much into the next percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that's understandable. The, the four percent just feel more aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Spikes, do you have a sp pref uh, preference on spikes? <sighs> what are they called? The, the Victory. Oh, right, okay, the, the Night Victory. Victory. Yeah, yeah, the... I want to say the threes or... Uh, oh, no. Is... <sighs> no? The, the oh, Victories. It's the, this, it's the one with the um, air cushion in. Oh, okay. The new ones. Yeah, the new Nikes. Ooh, okay, they're, 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 I know exactly. Like... Yeah, okay, so I've got the Dragonflies, um, which is the new ones which I haven't tested yet, but I know exactly which ones you mean. So I'll put a little, I'll, I'll put the description up as what yeah, it is, I'll put a, a picture. picture somewhere. I'll yeah. put a picture somewhere. Happy to, and is that all your shoes? Any other shoes in your rotation? Um, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Any got... shoes you've tried lately that you haven't enjoyed? Um, Adidas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you're the same as me. Yeah. Is that because they're too narrow, or what is the deal I, with Adidas? I have, I have square feet, so I did a, <laughs> did a session recently, and I, yeah, just came away, and my feet were bleeding. Yeah. 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 I I I bought the Solar Boost three, I think, at the beginning of the year. Came back with blooded toes. The blue upper was then red. So same that's sort of thing. thing. Happy days. So there we go. That's Will's shoe choice. We're off to get some grub, and then we'll touch base at the end with the final quick fire questions. Right, okay, so Tesco's done and dusted, fueled up. We're gonna smash some food before Will gets his train home. But before he goes, we have some quick fire questions for him. Um, I said to you guys, we were gonna talk a little bit about training uh, and especially for me, what's been interesting following Will's journey is his track work. So obviously you guys know, you watch all the great marathon runners, all the great half marathon runners, they all start with a good track background and you are no stranger to a track. You do or have done, before moving up to Cardiff, a lot of your work with the Southampton Elite team, down on the track. How have you found the track to be so beneficial towards your road running? I think mainly with doing track stuff is um, you do a lot of quicker quicker reps than you would do on the road. So, um, yeah. Uh... Do you find it being more <laughs> controlled? Like, if it, I know it's difficult when you, when you hit a road, when you hit a half marathon, you're going to hit undulations, you're going to hit yeah. hills, you're going to hit stuff like that. But on a track, and so sometimes if you do reps out on a road, it can 
I don't know, mentally, I guess, play with you maybe if you hit a slower rep because you hit the wind or, or, or you hit a hill or whatever. On a track, you tend to be able to bang out consistent reps one after the other. Do you feel like th there's a big mental benefit to that? Um, it's a difficult one because my track at home is very, very windy. So sometimes, <laughs> you've, just, sometimes you've just got to forget the times and just go for, yeah, put the go effort, for in. effort in. Yeah. But I think with, with a track, it's, it's just a different level of mentality. Like it's a lot more aggressive. Yes. People tend to be able to push themselves a lot harder on the track. I like that. But it is more aggressive, isn't because it? Because yeah. you're running lap after lap, it's so monotonous. You mentally become very strong. Yeah. So doing doing K reps on a track and beyond. <laughs> yes. Is horrible, but doing that on the road is much easier to oh, break down. I, to I totally agree. I think that's brilliant. It is more aggressive. That's a great way of thinking about it and obviously when you're running in a pack because you're running in an elite group down there um you've got people to keep company you can be yeah. more aggressive with each other so that's that's awesome and now obviously you're up here in cardiff you're now running with jake smith and his team it's going to be even more the state the stakes are going to be higher the track work is going to be more intense and obviously that's amazing and one thing we were talking about out there is how much you train by feel you don't use any heart rate you don't use which which is singing off my hymn sheet although i have a heart rate monitor if you guys know I love to preach running by feel. It's something that, and you do that. You were talking to me saying, I go out and do an easy run and I just plot a route and I run it and I don't look at my yeah. watch and I check the pace afterwards. You know, you just, I think that's such a great way of taking pressure off yourself. Um, and that's fantastic as well. So let's jump into sessions. <sighs> this is a good one. Best session, worst session. Let's start with your worst session because you said you definitely got one of those in mind. Yeah, worst session. I saw stars after this one. It was. <laughs> Eight times three hundred meters. Okay. With a three-minute recovery. Okay. So that is literally flat out Ooh. eight times, and I yeah almost passed out. Afterwards. And the recovery, what was that? Just like a light jog? Was that a static recovery? What was that? It's, it's very very light jog. Like a Kenyan shuffle yeah. style thing. And it's it's mad when you're doing that because you think three minutes that's a long period of time. Yeah. Three minutes isn't long. <laughs> no, no, it's not when you're going balls enough. out for yeah. like, what would that be? Sort of like 40 something seconds, 50 something seconds? Yeah, trying to dip 45 seconds. <laughs> That's so it's, insane. It's literally 400 meter, 400 meter pace. Yeah, over, yeah. yeah, wow. Okay, best session. I'm gonna reframe this question. So when I say best session, let's say, okay, so let's say you're tuning up for a race. Let's say you've got the Great North Run in your sights. What is a session that when you nail it, you know you're in good shape? It's always K reps. Yeah. So some kind of K rep. So yeah. probably five or six times a K. Because yeah. I've done I love ma that. I'm mainly a 5K background. Yeah. So when you know you can hit that session faster than your race pace, yeah. feel good, feel controlled. You know you're in good yeah. shape. I like that. And with your K reps, what type of rest do you normally take? Is it like a 60 second, 90 second? 90 seconds. Yeah. Not a float. A float. Okay. Uh, again, more kind of very, very light jogs. So okay. 10 minute miling S still so. still moving yeah. but shuffling okay i like that i'm the same k reps i'm not a massive fan of k reps but i know when i nail a k rep session you're in good shape yeah you, it, it's a good one to do also for me mile reps as well that sort of thing when you can nail them like i said faster than race pace that's good oh mate that's amazing i could have so many more questions for you and we'll have to do this again sometimes what i'd love to do guys from you if you have any questions for will drop them in the comments below if you enjoyed the video just drop it in the comment below but if you've got any questions i'll feed them back to him and i'll get back to you with some of the answers you don't mind answering some questions do no, you you can send me messages on instagram I'll yeah respond. i was gonna say yeah. i'll leave all these details in the description below but that was great fun and obviously wish will luck uh am i allowed to say what race you've got coming up in december yeah we can say telford telford yeah. we can say telford yeah. so you've got telford 10k coming up which hopefully you'll obliterate that 30 minutes and something you'll get well under that um hopefully my holiday in pathos doesn't completely destroy it but yeah you'll be fine mate a nice week on the beach you'll be fine yeah. so yeah will's got that uh, and then leading into next year follow his instagram to find out more of what he's gone but if you did enjoy the video today guys drop a comment below if you've got any questions if you did give it a like share it with your friends do that good stuff subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and i will see you on the next one until then